Welcome to Electra Online. The last problem definitely took more than three minutes to accomplish, but maybe this one takes less than three minutes. Well, let's see if we can do something like this in less than three minutes. Again, it's, uh, in this case, we're dealing with resistivity, uh, current power resistance, and let's read the problem and see what we need to do. The heater of an electric kettle is made of a wire of length L in diameter D. It takes four minutes to raise the temperature of 1.5 oh, kilograms of water by 40 Kelvin. This heater is replaced by a new heater having two wires of the same material, each of the same length L, but with a diameter of 2D. The way these two wires are connected is given by the options. And how much time in minutes will it take to raise the temperature of the same amount of water by 40K if and we have four possible answers. It's four minutes if the wires are in parallel, two if the wires are in series, one minute if the wires are in series, or 0.5 if the wires are in parallel. So we're going to connect the wires in parallel and in series. We then have to figure out the new resistance, which then will result in the new current, because we assume it's the same voltage applied, and from that we should be able to figure out the power, and from that we should be able to figure out how long it takes to heat the same amount of water. So that's the strategy that we have to take. So essentially, what we're going to think about it, we first need to find the resistance, then we need to find the, uh, the resistance of a single wire, of one wire, then the resistance either in parallel or in series, right? It depends how we hook it up. Then from that, we need to find the current, from that we need to find the power, and from that we need to find the time. So that's kind of the strategy. You should be able to figure that out kind of in 10 seconds or so that that's what we're going to do. Let's make a little drawing. You may not want to do that during the test, but let's make a drawing to see what's going on here. We have a single wire of length L and a certain diameter D. Now we end up with two wires. They're either going to be connected in parallel or in series, so, and they have twice the diameter, so here would be the two wires connected in parallel, like this. So they would have the diameter of 2D, but the same length L, or we're going to connect the two in series, like this. Each of length L and of diameter 2D. So these are the two new heaters. The wires are either connected in parallel or in series. So, first of all, the fact that they're made of the same material, the resistivity that only depends on the length and the cross-sectional area. Now notice they have the same length, but they will have four times the cross-sectional area because it's twice the diameter. Four times the cross-sectional area means that each piece will have one quarter of the resistance. So it's one quarter of the resistance because it has four times the cross-sectional area. And then if we're going to connect them in parallel, so this is one quarter the resistance for one and one quarter resistance for two, but if they're then connected in parallel, together in parallel will only be one eighth the resistance. In the case that we connect them in series, notice that each one of those will have a resistance of one quarter the original resistance, but since they're connected in series, that will double the resistance, so now we have one half the original resistance. So in parallel, you'll have one eighth the original resistance. In series, you'll have one half the original resistance. So now we figured out the resistance for one unit, which is one quarter the resistance of the original one, if we call this R. And if they're connected in parallel, Together, it's one eighth of the total resistance from the original resistance, and in series, it is one half. Okay, now we need to find the current. Remember that using Ohm's law, I is equal to V over R. So in this case, if we have current I here, then here, since we have one eighth resistance, we're going to have eight times the current. So we're going to have eight times the current here, and since it's half the resistance, we're going to have twice the current here. So now we've got the, we have this figured out, we have this figured out, we have the current figured out. Next, the power in each case. Notice that the power is equal to I square R. So notice, in this case, we have eight times the current, but only one-eighth times the resistance. So in this case, that would be eight times.
times the original current squared times one eight of the resistance. So that would be 64 divided by eight or uh, eight times the power. So we have eight times the power consumption if they're connected in parallel. Okay? If we connect them in series, notice that the uh, current, we have the current, so the power is going to be I square R. We have twice the current, so it would be two times the current squared, and we have one half the resistance, so it would be four times two, which is two times the original power. Okay, eight times the current, one eighth the resistance, eight times the current, yep, all right. Okay, yeah, so this is for the parallel one, and this is for the series connection. So now that we have the power in each case, now we need to figure out the time. All right, so if we have eight times the power, it should only take one eight times the time. So this will result in being able to do it in one eight, oop, got ahead of myself, one eight times the time. So if it took four minutes originally, one eight of four minutes, that would be one eight of four minutes, would be a half minute if they're connected in parallel. Is that one of the answers? Right here, a half minute if wires are connected in parallel, so that would be a correct statement. How about uh, the time for parallel? So if power equals twice the original power, I should essentially put original power like that, right? Then that means that time would be one half the original time. So when they're connected in series, it would only take half as much time. So in series, half of four would be two, that means B would be correct if they're in series, and D would be correct if they're connected in parallel. Now, do you think we did that in three minutes? Seven minutes. <laughs> well, but I did a lot of explaining, so that means I took a little bit longer to explain all that, but I think if you follow the quick technique and you just quickly work with the numbers, you can figure out rather quickly. So B and D in this case are the two correct answers if they're corrected in series or in parallel. And yes, you will have to hustle a bit to get this done in three minutes.